Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to discuss on the very first video of official Odoo 18 launch and I am really impressed with the new feature which was demanded by many organizations, many companies in past that is a stock valuation based on lot and serial number. So it is now fantastic to see I can control my stock valuation and consumption as well as cost of goods can be tracked by lot and serial number with real valuations. So how it works? Let's uh, jump into that. So what I have done is I have created two products, lot P1 that is lot product and controlled by you know inventory by lots and here I want to see valuation by lot and serial number and then I have configured second serial number product which is again by unique serial number and then I have made few purchases. So now if I go to my purchase, I have purchased same product at 110 per unit and then 900 per unit for serial number product. And then the same product was earlier uh, purchased at 100 rupees and then 1000 rupees each. And then I have received it with different different lot and serial numbers. So if you check on my moves, you can see lot one belongs to uh, 10 quantity with its valuation and one one unit SL1, SL2, which are valued at thousand each. And now if I go to my general ledger, I can see real valuation that is thousand thousand for unique serial number and thousand for you know this lot number and then second PO from vendor two it is showing with 1100 as total and 900 plus 900 as the serial number products. And then now what I will do is uh, I can see a real valuation in my inventory stock reporting. Also, when I go to history, I can see this is over here. And then when I run my valuation report, I can see lot P1 product has 1100 in total and 1000 in total and then it has different different lot and serial number. So see when I am trying to sell lot 1 product per unit it was 100 and lot 2 product per unit is 110. Likewise uh, the SL1 SL2 is costing 1000 each and then SL3 SL4 900 each. Now let's see real time how it works in Odoo. I have enabled Anglo section accounting. So when I create the customer invoice, it will appear over there. I am selling a product to my customer. That is my serial number product. I am selling one unit at let's say 1500 Indian rupees. So as soon as I confirm by default, Odoo will reserve the stock from SL1. But for this customer, I want to supply SL3 product, not SL1. So I am changing that and validate this. So system will generate automatic valuation layer. And now you can see Odoo has overcome the previous challenges and I can see my real valuation is 900 because I have delivered SL3 which was costing me 900. Now the second part is creating an invoice. And when I create my regular invoice, and as soon as I confirm, it will create general entries and then I can see my real purchase expense cost of goods is registered by 900 rupees, not the 1000 rupees. Previously, Odoo was wrong in that, but now I am very impressed to see uh, this improvement in my general ledger. I can see real time, uh, you know, stock valuation and its cost of goods when I sold and delivered the another item which was costing me differently than regular and here I have used this particular first in first out method only and Odoo can now accurately give me the final costing in my cost of goods as the real valuation which I have delivered. So this is a cool feature. I am very much impressed and let's see more in my coming videos for latest Odoo 18 features. Thank you guys. Have a good day.